Who would have thought that the assassination of a Hamas political leader in Tehran would prompt Iran to significantly enhance its security protocols, particularly for its supreme leader, Ali Khamenei? The tragic event that befell Ismail Haniyeh has led Iranian authorities to take no chances, ensuring that Khamenei is protected against any similar threats. This heightened security has sparked public curiosity about the measures in place to protect Iran's supreme leader from potential assassination attempts by his numerous adversaries. The security at Khamenei's residence is the first line of defense, reflecting the stringent measures in place to safeguard the supreme leader and his family. His home is heavily guarded by a specialized security detail, tasked with ensuring his safety around the clock. Any individual seeking to enter the residence or meet with Khamenei must undergo thorough inspections at several checkpoints within the compound. This rigorous process highlights the lengths to which Iran goes to secure its most important figure. But what happens when Khamenei steps outside his residence for private or public engagements. Khamenei's security protocol remains consistent regardless of the nature of his meetings, whether they are private or public. Every person who is to meet with him is subject to detailed scrutiny to eliminate any risk of assassination attempts. It is believed that the security protocol is bolstered by advanced technology, including thermal cameras monitored by commanders stationed at guard posts. Additionally, his personal guards are always on high alert during these engagements, ensuring that the Supreme Leader is well protected, whether he is addressing the public or holding private discussions. This level of security is maintained even during Khamenei's meetings with Iran's proxies across the Middle East. In fact, these meetings are reportedly conducted with even greater caution. The arrangements for such encounters, particularly with militant groups, are meticulously planned. Select individuals are strategically seated at the front, with security personnel interspersed among them, ensuring Khamenei's safety throughout the proceedings. The heightened security measures surrounding Supreme Leader Ali Khamenei were prominently displayed during the funeral prayer he led for Ismail Haniyeh, as well as during the recent memorial for President Ebrahim Raisi, who tragically died in a helicopter accident. In these instances, Khamenei's security team took decisive action, arriving at the location well in advance to conduct thorough assessments and secure the area. By establishing clear entry and exit points and closing off the venue, they effectively minimized the risks associated with large gatherings where the supreme leader could be vulnerable to assassination attempts. <laughs> Khamenei's travels across various provinces in Iran are also subject to meticulous and robust security protocols. Given the potential for sabotage during such trips, the security apparatus dispatches personnel to the designated province a full week before his arrival. These teams oversee the implementation of security arrangements, ensuring that every detail is in place to safeguard Khamenei during his visit. This proactive approach underscores the professionalism and capability of Iran's security forces in protecting their supreme leader. During one such provincial visit, Khamenei was seen riding in a sleek black car, which is widely believed to be a model from the German automaker BMW, specifically the BMW 540i. However, considering Khamenei's status as Iran's most important figure, it is likely that the vehicle is a specially modified BMW 540i P. The choice of the BMW 540 IP as Khamenei's official vehicle makes perfect sense, given its advanced security features. 
This vehicle is equipped with aramid reinforced steel plates and bulletproof glass layered with polycarbonate, offering protection against ballistic threats up to CENB4 level, sufficient to withstand most handgun rounds and 12-gauge shotgun blasts. Furthermore, the car is fitted with run-flat tires, enabling it to continue moving even if the tires are punctured or damaged during an attack ensuring Kamene can reach a safer location without delay. Iran's dedication to safeguarding its supreme leader, Ali Khamenei, is unparalleled and reflects the high stakes involved in maintaining his security. Upon assuming the highest office in Iran, Khamenei immediately recognized the need for enhanced protection and took decisive steps to establish a specialized security force known as the Vali Amr Corps. This elite unit is exclusively tasked with the protection of Iran's top leaders, including Khamenei himself. In parallel, another unit, the Hefazat Ansar Corps, was created to ensure the safety of other high-ranking officials. Details about these security forces are tightly controlled by Iranian authorities, highlighting the secretive nature of their operations. Both the Vali Amr Corps and the Hafazat Ansar Corps operate in close coordination with various intelligence agencies, most notably the Ministry of Intelligence and Security, MOIS, also known by its acronym VAJA. MOIS serves as Iran's primary civilian intelligence organization with responsibilities ranging from intelligence gathering to analysis and dissemination of critical information both domestically and internationally. Although MOIS is involved in a broad range of intelligence activities, it primarily focuses on domestic concerns, such as monitoring dissidents and keeping tabs on ethnic or religious opposition groups. <laughs> In its role as a crucial intelligence provider, MOIS acts as an early warning system for the Vali Amr and Hefazat Ansar Corps. When MOIS detects potential threats against Iran's leaders, particularly Khamenei, it alerts these security units, enabling them to implement heightened security measures. This close collaboration ensures that any emerging dangers are addressed swiftly minimizing the risk of successful attacks on the nation's most prominent figures. Khamenei's emphasis on security is deeply rooted in his personal history, marked by a traumatic assassination attempt that nearly claimed his life. On June 27, 1981, Khamenei, then serving as Ayatollah Khomeini's representative on the Supreme Defense Council, was giving a speech at the Abuzar Mosque in Tehran. During the event, as Khamenei responded to questions from the audience, a tape recorder suddenly emitted a high-pitched whistle and then exploded. The blast inflicted severe injuries on Khamenei, particularly to his arm, vocal cords, and lungs, and left him incapacitated for several months as he recovered. According to credible sources, the tape recorder involved in the assassination attempt on Ali Khamenei was split into two parts, and inscribed inside were the words, a gift from the Forkin Group to the Islamic Republic. The Forkin Group, an anti-Shia Islamist militant organization, was vehemently opposed to the clerical establishment in Iran. However, the group was disbanded after the arrest and execution of its key members in 1980. This dark chapter in Khamenei's life heightened his awareness of the risks associated with public appearances, leading to the formation of special security forces tasked with his protection. In recent years, Iran has acknowledged that Khamenei's public appearances have become increasingly rare. Many events, including exhibitions, are now held at Hosseiniye Imam Khomeini, the Supreme Leader's headquarters in Tehran. 
While some speculate that security concerns are a major factor in this shift, others believe that Khamenei's deteriorating health is the primary reason behind his reduced travel schedule. Reports in various Iranian media outlets suggest that Khamenei suffers from intestinal obstruction, which has caused significant concern in Tehran. Additionally, he underwent a successful prostate cancer surgery in 2014. Beyond these issues, Khamenei has reportedly been diagnosed with heart disease since 1998, though he has kept this condition largely under wraps. Despite efforts to maintain secrecy, details about his health have gradually leaked, fueling speculation about his well-being. <laughs> <laughs> to manage these health challenges, Khamenei is closely monitored by his personal physician and medical advisor, Dr. Ali Reza Morandi. Dr. Morandi is a highly respected figure, serving as a professor of pediatrics and neonatology at Shahid Beheshti University. Before returning to Iran during the revolution, he was an associate professor at Wright State University. Mirandi's esteemed background and loyalty have made him a trusted caretaker of Khamenei's health, overseeing the treatment of the Supreme Leader's various ailments. Despite the public's growing awareness of his health issues, Khamenei has remained secretive about his condition. Analysts have noted that Iran's state-controlled media often portrays the Supreme Leader as being in robust health, likely to dispel any rumors about his ailments. This concerted effort has led some observers to speculate that Khamenei is keen to prevent any instability that might arise from public concern over his health. The underlying fear is that acknowledging his frailty could embolden internal enemies or even inspire attempts to overthrow his regime. This raises the question, does Iran harbor traitors who might seek to capitalize on Khamenei's vulnerabilities to destabilize or even topple his rule?